Hi everyone, Chastity here. Welcome back to my channel. So I have a very exciting box opening um, of a new baby. So hopefully I get some quiet today, Saturday, and kids are home and I'm trying to like pull them, try, try to keep a little quiet so I can film this. Um, and I enjoy this box opening with you. So I'm going to, I took off the shipping labels. I didn't, uh, do anything else with it, but I'm excited to see this baby. I did buy this baby, um, second, third hand, I guess. Third, I'm third mom. And... I bought this baby off of Reborn Smiles of Joy. I can't think of her. I don't know why I can't think of her name. But she is on um, Instagram. And she has a pretty large following. So, okay, this box is from a re really special artist. Um, I have never seen her working on person before because I've never had any extremely high-end babies but she is a prototype artist this is not a prototype but here is the box I will get it out so she's a box in a box Ooh. so we'll look here it is dolls like children by Elena Yadrina so, um, she is on Instagram, so if anybody, uh, you know, knows, like, she is a more higher-end artist, I'm gonna try to lower this closer to the box, um, and I got my boppy here when we get to the baby, so, let's get this twine off, uh, Hi, this on. And how's everybody been? I I know it's been a while. So I'm going to cut this off. Let's see where my scissors are. I have Macy running around here. So. So, like I said, this baby is coming to me second hand, um, third hand, whatever. Uh generally when I'm able to get higher end dolls it's usually where they come from um except for my Laura I did get her right from the artist but here we go so there is the lid off and this is the original box that this baby came in um you know this baby was painted in early 2020 this baby belonged to Renee at Ray, Radom, Renee, Renee Dom Reborns um, here on YouTube and on Instagram first. So she was the original mommy of this baby. So here we go. And this is pretty much her original originals that this baby came with. So that's fairly exciting. Like I said, I excited. I, I, you know, never got like a baby from high end artists like this. So come on back up. So first we have this beautiful little knit outfit that ties in the back and this pretty handmade box smells good. I don't know what she's sniffing at. This really pretty handmade bonnet. Can you see that? Isn't that pretty? So, like I said, this is all the originals. Most of the, most of the originals. I think there was something missing that she said she didn't have. I mean, everything else is 
the original. We have a silicone rubber um, display passy. That's cute for displays. Um, I use some of the stuff out of the box opening sometimes, so. Um, here's a pretty Spanish knit outfit. Look at how pretty that is. Uh, she Now, she wore this home in her, obviously it's a girl, um, her original box opening. She wore that. I know she put her in a sleeper to ship to me. She just wanted her a little bit more protected. So. But that's what she originally wore. Here is her. She does have a belly toy. Like I said, I'm excited to see this artist work in person. I never seen it. So here is her belly plate. It's pretty. Pretty Peyton. And then she has a little lovey, little Bonnie with some bling and of course a little blingy crown bib for such a sweet little dainty sculpt. I This is one of my favorite sculpts. Um, I'm not sure if I mentioned it before. Um, that Um, one of my favorite sculpts that I, uh, absolutely love and adore. So back up, lay down, lay down, now, lay down, stay away. Um, I had one, um, from Paper City Dolls, if that tells you anything. It'll probably show on the thing, but. All right, let's see here. This little baggie. I know her passy was in this. It says, I love mom. So that little hand, it's, it's like handmade little baggie. And then a couple headbands. This really pretty one. And then this real pretty one that's like, like it almost looks like little cat ears on there. Not pretty. That is so pretty. I don't have any headbands like that. So that's actually going to be nice to use for pictures. Get out. I don't know what she's smelling. All right. Her paperwork is underneath. So I'll lift that out. Though my always shows. So she's in this really pretty bunting. her over to the camera hopefully get her in the frame so I'm ready to see this baby so I know this slides I know it's like a two piece let's see here this slides off almost like a skirt it looks like huh it does look like a skirt Macy, stop. Sorry, she's like really, for some reason, interested in everything going on here. She usually doesn't get this involved. There must be something she's smelling. Maybe she had a dog or something that she's smelling off of the baby. But I'm going to get a drink. I'm going to enjoy this. I've been like 
watching this artist work. I follow her on Instagram. I love it. Never thought I would actually have anything from her. So here we go. Some tiny little legs. This is a little petite. Now she's going to push over it. Stop it. Goodness. Hold on. Let me try to get this camera angled a little bit better. I hope that's a little bit better. So here is a little dainty little leggies. That pretty painting. She's like got like a pinky tone to her. Her little hands. Anybody know? She's a sculpt Kunti. So dainty. All right. I'm going to go for it because she don't have a blanket or a covered her face. So oh, there she is. Oh my goodness. Look at, look at her. She looks so real. Oh, her hair. Oh, this is really soft hair. I wonder if this is alpaca. Where you gotta be really careful with that. It just lays. Wow. Look at her. So it's Charlotte. Charlotte by Laura Lee Eagles. And look at how pretty she is. Oh my goodness. Oh, let's get this off. Let's get her little Nikki here. So that we can see her little self. She has an open nose, which is something I've never seen. Oh, look at her. She is stunning, isn't she? Beautiful little baby. I don't even know what to do. She's so pretty. She has, like, I don't know if you can see, like, that's the only thing my camera does not pick up very good details, but she has a little baby acne right there. A little bit of uneven blushing. Pretty lips. And this hair is, it's like a light brown hair. Almost like it seems like a tint of red in it. And then under her, like her scalp, she has like, um, like little, uh, like blemishes and redness and stuff under her hair. She's pretty. Very, very pretty. I said, I. Sometimes when you're like, oh, I'm going to buy a baby, you know, third hand, second hand, however, it's always a, sometimes a gamble. Ask lots of questions and get lots of pictures. Her uh, previous mommy sent me lots of pictures and stuff of her and everything like that and answered all my questions and. Um, really good to deal with. And she's so pretty. 
love her hair. Like it's so like delicate, like so soft, like so soft. It's feels like alpaca to me. That's what it feels like. But you know how like them Russians, they get the best hair. <laughs> the Russian artist. So I have um her name is just Charlotte, obviously. That's a beautiful name. Well, I changed it, right? Mommy said don't be too loud. <laughs> Here my boys. That's a little Mommy. beautiful name. Mommy said, um don't be too loud. My son. I can see like broken capillaries. She has almost what looks like a vaccine on her, like a little shot. Nice pink skin. She's just really pretty. Really nice undertones and stuff. She just looks so real. So real. Just really, really, really admiring her. Like I said, I just never had a baby from like a high end artist. And this baby is, um, you know, a couple years old now. <clears throat> She was painted in early 2020, so, you know, two years old. So, I have a little onesie I think I'm going to put on her right now. And I'm going to get a diaper for her. So, I'm going to put her in a new diaper right now. These little Dr. Seuss ones. So, put her in a new diaper. I don't know when this diaper was put on her. If it's new, it's always nice to change out your diapers. I do have a cloth diaper though. I don't know if maybe I should put that on her. Put, I just have like like a little snipe, side snap onesie I was gonna put on her for now. It says little dreams. And it's a it's a um it's a very small size. This diaper's gonna look big on her. But yes, I did have a Paper Cities dolls, Charlotte, Sebastian. Um that I ended up selling some time ago and I really regretted selling him. I really love that baby. Um, I love the kit. So, uh, this boppy is, I got this boppy because my Laura is using the other one and I don't like how it lets the baby sit on it. I like the lounger better. Her hair, I'll have to get some stuff to put under her hair. I just wanted to put her in something so I could just enjoy her in something plain for a while. But yeah, I had Sebastian and ended up selling him to our late um, Birdie's Babies. And uh, you know, I really love that baby. So, I've been looking for another Charlotte and seen this one come up for sale. And I'm like, you know, I jumped on it pretty quick. It's not every day that you can get babies from, like, artists like Elena. So, um... Just really, you know, jumped on her pretty fast. This, 
the silly freaking boppy. I should have grabbed the lounger one. It just works so much better. So. I do have one more baby. Coming, actually. <laughs> and then, you know, I keep saying it. No more for a while. Bear with me. Sometimes these little side snaps are a little weird to figure out. But, um, another baby for me. Prototype artist. So, not a baby. Prototype. Someday I'll have a prototype, but this one is not coming as a prototype. Not a prototype. But, another baby from a prototype artist and a pretty well-known one too so um, all right let's see here we go fix that there we go there we go look at this baby isn't she precious oh my goodness i love her thank you thank you i don't want to say christine but i'm not sure I think it is um but thank you for letting me adopt her this beautiful charlotte let's look at her paperwork real quick because i did not even get that out her uh coa so of course this is the first edition charlotte by Laura Lee Eagles, number 1133 out of 1400 COA. Those are very important at this time to keep, keep your COAs. And then here is her little birth certificate. Dolls like children, reborn artist Elena Yadrina. And there she is looking at all beautiful. Her hair actually looks darker in the picture than it really is. It's not as dark. It's more of, like I said, I'm more of a brownie red color, which actually I really like because, you know, Charlotte and red hair is just phenomenal. So it's kind of that's kind of the color we're looking at. Um, let me see if I can find a little brush for her. So her hair just lays really nice. So it just needs a little bit of rub down. This is um just this really soft, soft, soft brush I got from um with my Laura. Just. Like I said, I'm, I think this is as straight as this hair is and it's soft, it's alpaca, which is very, 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 you got to take really great care of alpaca for sure. So, because it can rub and break more easily than mohair. So there she is. I'm going to it off here and just enjoy this sweet little princess and all her tininess the tiniest little is petitest little thing look at this baby all right i'm gonna get off here you guys have a good day i'll talk to you soon bye